time to start. So on behalf of Guamcom and the International Site of Nepholi Renal Pathology Working Group, I would like to welcome everyone to our seminar, to our joint seminar uh, about crescentic glomerular nephritis. Good. Uh, hello, everybody, and thank you, Dr. Carmen, for giving me the, giving me this opportunity to present uh, today. Uh, I will present about uh, crescentic glomerular nephritis. Uh, as you know, uh, crescentic glomerular nephritis is not a specific disease, but uh, rather a morphologic expression of severe glomerular injury that can be caused by many different etiologies and pathogenic mechanisms. So it is general uh, tale. And a major pathogenic event that causes crescentic formation or crescent formation is rupture of glomerular capillary, which allows cellular and humular humoral, uh, inflammatory mediated to spill into pulmonary space. And clinically, this is uh, correlates with rapid liberal glomerulitis or RPGN, and its clinical counterpart, with, which uh, we can see as uh, which will present in the pathology as crescent formation. So uh, at the beginning, I will start with a diff some definition. You can see a uh, crescent is a crescent shape zone of extra uh, capillary hypercellularity caused previously by hyperplasia of parietal epithelial cells and influx of macrophage. And based on the definition of WHO definition, uh, crescent is defined as two or more layers of cells that are partially or completely filling human space. And we use the term crescent glomerulitis when we have 50 or more of the glomeruli and we involved by crescent. And if it is less than 50 percent, well, we should specify uh, a percentage of crescent. Anyway, always we have to specify the percentage of crescent in the diagnostic report, diagnostic line. Uh, there are different types of crescent. Uh, of course, the active one is cellular and fibrocellular crescent. And these are the definition based on the consensus uh, definition of glomerular region, region uh, published by, as recommendation from working group of renal pathology society. So cellular crescent is extra uh, capillary hypercellularity of more than two cell layers and involving 10% of the capsular circumference uh, composed of uh, more than 75% of cells with or without fibrins. And of, of, of course, uh, a matrix will be less than 25%. Uh, however, fibrocellular crescent is uh, characterized by the presence of uh, 25 to 75 cells with, uh, with or without fibrin and the remainder uh, fibrous uh, matrix. However, the fibrous uh, crescent, uh, of course, it will be more fibrotic uh, uh, lesion with extra capillary fibrosis composed of more than 75% of matrix and of less than 25% of cells with or without fibrin and usually associated with disruption of woman space uh, at woman capsule and involving more than 10% of capsular circumference. So this is an example of the cellular crescent. You can see here in the right side uh, of, the, of the picture right side, you can see cellular crescent uh, uh, associated with endocapillar hypocellularity in the glomerular uh, top. And the left side, this is trichrome stain, highlighting cellular crescent with fibrinoid necrosis. Uh, uh, this is an example of, uh, in the left side, fibrocellular crescent. You can see the cellularity uh, between uh, 25 to 75 with uh, a more fibrous, fibrous area. Uh, and uh, in comparison, the, in the right side, you can see fibrous crescent. We have more than uh, 75 fibrous components. So this is indicate chronicity, uh, fibrous crescent. And cellular and fibrocellular crescent uh, still uh, considered active lesion. Uh, it's very important uh, to uh, differentiate crescent from pseudo crescent, and cr pseudo crescent can be seen in uh, different uh, different conditions. Uh, the most important one is uh, collapsing uh, FSGS. Uh, pseudo crescent is characterized by visceral epithelial cell hyperplasia with crowding. Uh, Uh, with crowding of these cells, filling the urinary space, lacking inflammatory cells and fibrin. And the cells are typically plumb, not spindle shaped, and often evacuated, and the Bowman capsule is usually intact. So there will be no rupture of the Bowman uh, space. So it's more plumb cells, evacuated, and uh, it's sometimes associated with protein resorption droplets, as you can see here, the red uh, areas, the protein uh, globules, protein resorption droplets. Of course, the clinical presentation will be different also. 
pseudocrescent uh, with, uh, in cases of collapsing SSDs, patients will present with nephrotic range proteinuria. However, in trochrescent, patients will present well, uh, with RBG and with uh, active urinary sediment. So in general, uh, crescentic trimerophritis, as I mentioned before, it's a general category. So under this uh, it comes post-immune uh, glomerulophritis, anti-GBM glomerulophritis, and immune complex mediated glomerulophritis or complement mediated glomerulophritis. 